But where has that magical ability to completely change up your outfit? And now that we are well and truly into autumn, it's time to break out our warmer clothes and boots. Initially, when I was planning this video, I was gonna make like a blanket autumn footwear video. But then I realized that boots are such a big category that they deserved a video for themselves. Boots take up the biggest section in my wardrobe and I think that's because they pretty much work all throughout the year, um, especially here in London when it's pretty mild all year round, mostly. <laughs> They're also so versatile, comfortable, practical. They are just what I'm about in a nutshell. In this video, I wanted to share a few of my favorite pairs of boots, which I think would make a good kind of boot starting point. Um, and also a couple of wishlist items as well. When choosing shoes, you really have to take into consideration your lifestyle, how you like to wear things, and just your kind of individual style. I'm so over buying uncomfortable shoes. I used to do that a lot when I was younger just because something looked good, but then there's just no fun in life when you're in pain. <laughs> So the ones that I'm gonna show you are the ones that I have curated over the years. They work really well for me and my lifestyle. They work really well for the way I live my life and my personal style. But the beauty with fashion is that you can always find something that's gonna work for you. It might take a little bit of experimenting and testing, but there's always something out there for you. As a starting point for black boots, I would always recommend going for um, a mid heel to a low heel, depending on what you feel most comfortable walking in. Something a bit slimmer around the toe, I think that works with a lot of different trousers and jeans. And I'd also go for a block heel so that they are more comfortable when you're walking around in them. I have had this pair from And Other Stories for one or two years now. They are a really comfortable pair of boots that I wear all the time. You can see I probably need to get them rehealed at some point. But what I really like about these is that the heel height is really walkable. The shape of the toe is in between sort of an almond toe and like a square toe. So I feel like it works with a lot of different trousers. Um, and yeah, they're just a really, really good purchase. I think I got them on sale as well, which is awesome. As an alternative, Mango have a really slick pair out at the moment. They look really comfortable. And I like the seam at the front that goes down the middle. I think having that extra bit of detail um, just gives like a basic item something a bit more interest. As a kind of smarter alternative, I have these boots that I got from Joseph also a couple of years ago. I think I also got these on sale as well. <laughs> what I really like about these is the mix of the low heel and a pointed toe. So I think that just by nature, a pointed toe is more formal in a shoe. And with the low heel, so instead of it being like a really high stiletto heel, the low heel still gives you some height and you have that formality with the pointed toe, but they're much more comfortable to walk in. So I like these for dressing up, but not being too dressed up. <laughs> I would say like a good situation where I would wear these is like dinner with girlfriends where you wanna dress up, but you don't need to dress up too much. I just think that low heel gives you um, sort of effortless look, which I really like about these. Arquette also have a low heel pointed toe boot. I think those look really schmick. I think if I didn't have these Joseph ones already, I would probably purchase those Arquette ones. I think they're, yeah, I just, I really like the shape of the toe. Um, and again, the heel height is great for comfort. For a higher heeled version, for when you do want to get a bit more dressed up and have that height, I have my Dear Francis Spirit Boots. These boots I love and I cherish so much. I won't go into too much detail because I do have a whole video review on Dear Francis, um, which I'll link if you want to watch. These are obviously much higher than the two that I've just shown you. But for me, I'm five foot two. I've always been quite conscious of my height. Maybe not so much anymore as I get older, but I have been wearing heels since I was in my teens. So I think my feet are quite used to them. 
So <laughs> heeled boots is, yeah, really up to you and kind of your levels of comfort. But I will say that these are such soft leather and because of the really like thick block heel, they are really comfortable to wear. I also just love the way I feel when I have these on. I feel like they just elevate my outfits and elevate my mood. And that is why I love clothes and I love fashion because it can just change the way you feel about yourself, give you more confidence. And yeah, these boots are my confidence boots. <laughs> I think that once you have all of your bases covered with black boots in kind of silhouettes and heel heights that work with you and your lifestyle and you're comfortable in, you can start to branch out into more interesting patterns and colors depending on your style. So apparently branching out for me means brown, <laughs> which is kind of funny now that I kind of put it all out into words. But yeah, this is branching out for me. I unapologetically love the color black. And to add a pair of kind of mock croc, they're a bit patenty, shiny brown boots is like pretty out there for me. But I like that it adds a bit more interest to my outfits without being so, so out there. And that is my personal style. So these brown ones are from Dear Francis again. They are in this really nice mock croc print, which I think is a timeless print, you know? I still think that whilst it's printed, it's still a timeless print, which kind of works really well into my wardrobe. And I really like the square toe. I think it's really modern um, and really kind of interesting to look at as well. And if you're looking for a pair of mock croc boots, I saw that and other stories have a pair online as well. So I also have these snakeskin ones from Stuart Weitzman. I thought they were quite a fun addition into my wardrobe, but in still a kind of neutral browny shade, which still works really seamlessly with all of my clothes. And what I like about these is that they are kind of a Western inspired shape, I would say. So they have that sort of stacked heel um, almost like kind of a cowboy boot style, which is quite trendy at the moment. So I think I'll be breaking these out a bit more this autumn. By having a mix of neutral colors in different patterns and prints, such as the ones that I've shown you, means that they're still really versatile. You can still kind of quite easily integrate them into your outfits that you already wear, and you can still mix and match them in lots of different ways. So moving on to slightly more practical boots now, I recently purchased this pair. Um, if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I showed them on there as well. I was kind of debating in that video if I should keep them or not, but I think I've decided I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> These are from Port and Pair. I got them on Net-A-Porte. And I think that they kind of bridge the gap of being classic, but also trendy. So I kind of spoke about this in my last video, but I am not a big fan of the chunky boot trend. It's just something that doesn't look that good on me. So I kind of veer away from that trend and I tend to stick to kind of slimmer and sleeker styles of boots. However, I, like these because they have that track sole which give the boot that kind of chunkiness but at the same time if you look at it from above the shoe is still quite slim so i really like that they have that little bit of chunkiness but not too crazy that they kind of tip off my proportions <laughs> and make my feet look gigantic they also have this kind of knitted upper ankle bit, which I personally really like. I like that they are really tight around the ankle. I mostly wear jeans around autumn, winter, and yeah, they fit really nicely kind of underneath all of my straight leg jeans. I really like that kind of just clean, neat look to them. So that is why I decided to keep them. So I also found an alternative to these port and pair ones um, on Massimo Duty. I like that they have this really classic shape 
that will just last you for years to come. And again, they also have that kind of knitted, elasticy upper detail that I really like. Now for some wish list items. So this autumn winter, I am looking for a pair of knee high boots. Well, actually two pairs. I would like a flat pair and a heeled pair. To be honest, I find knee high boots quite difficult to find because my calves are apparently bigger than what most knee high boots are made for. And that's something that I used to be very self-conscious about, but I'm over it now. I'm older, I'm over it, it's fine. But some options that I've kind of seen online and might like to try. So for flat boots, I tend to kind of gravitate towards a more riding boot style. I just really like that silhouette. I think it looks really smart and I like ones that have less kind of buckles and embellishments. I just like a plain kind of boot. It just needs to have a really good silhouette to it. So if money were absolutely no option, I would love to try the flat knee-high totem boots that I kept seeing all of last winter. They're really, really expensive, but I just really like that kind of slim and sleek shape that they have to them. But realistically, I do also think that they might be a little bit too low for me, a little bit too flat. I like to have a tiny bit of a heel, even if it's just like a couple centimeters. I think that just looks a lot better on my kind of body type. So Arquette also have a pair of riding boots out at the moment. I would be interested in going to the Arquette store and trying these on. Although they are a little bit chunkier than what I'm personally looking for. And other stories also have a very similar pair. However, I think these look slightly kind of slimmer and are more of the shape that I'm looking for. So I might see if I can pop into another stories and try these ones on. For heeled options, I haven't actually seen a lot online that I really, really like the look of. Um, I think we still maybe need to go a bit more into autumn, winter, and then those styles will start coming out a little bit more. Um, but at the moment, I was eyeing up this pair from COS, but they're gone from the website, which is kind of annoying. Um, however, I have seen another pair from Massimo Duty. They're on Zalando. I've never shopped on Zalando before. So let me know if you've had any experience on Zalando. But yeah, they look like a very kind of sharp, slick pair. They're like a going out pair of high heel boots, which I'm not sure if I need in my wardrobe because let's be honest, I am at home most of the time, but they do look like a very nice, slick pair of boots. Stoud also have a pair. These are a much more kind of relaxed pair of heeled knee-high boots as the heel is a little bit lower, or a lot lower actually. And yeah, I think these are a lot more versatile in my wardrobe for my kind of smart casual looks that I tend to gravitate towards. And so I would like to try these as well. Not sure if I will order them just to try them out but that's another pair that I've kind of liked the look of as well. So that was a little deep dive into my shoe boot collection and a couple of wish list items that I'm looking for this season. I have a lot more autumn content coming out soon. So thank you so much again for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.